We are taught the idea that we should give, share, and prioritize, being generous over our personal interests. But does anyone warn us about the dangers of being too kind and compassionate? We live in a world where we don't always receive what we give, as it's full of generous people who witness how they empty themselves, both financially and energetically, through indiscriminate giving. Could excessive generosity even endanger our own lives? Be amazed by the unexpected negative effects that kindness can bring upon you. Today, I will reveal the nine things that happen to you for being too good and introduce six stoic strategies to prevent people from taking advantage of you. Without further ado, let's move on to... Number one, you will have unrealistic expectations of people. The Stoics emphasize the need to accept circumstances as they are and not base our happiness on the actions of others. By giving without expecting too much in return, you avoid disappointment and practice emotional detachment, leading to greater peace of mind. It's hard for us to be completely selfless in our generosity, consciously or unconsciously. When we give our all, we expect others to do the same when it's us who need something important. However, you've accustomed people so much to having everything done for them that they'll take for granted that you can handle everything, both in their lives and your own, especially your own. Otherwise, why would you be taking on other people's responsibilities? The truth is that your expectations of reciprocity will not be met, and what will happen to you is that you'll gain a bad mood, fatigue, frustration, and disappointment. Nevertheless, if we approach it dispassionately, people aren't failing you. They're doing what you should also be doing, taking care of their own responsibilities. Number two, people will only expect you to give them something. According to the Stoics, it's important to remember that true value comes from acting in accordance with virtue and reason, not simply catering to others' expectations. Practicing moderation and giving in a balanced way allows you to maintain control over your own actions and avoid falling into habits that wear down your emotional well-being. You've heard all your life that humans are creatures of habit never better defined. Humans are programmed to adapt to a routine, a way of life, and a symphony of things happening around them. This tendency to adapt is precisely where the concept of the comfort zone comes from. This means that if you get used to giving all the time, the beneficiaries of your generosity will expect you to give them something all the time, meaning you'll lead people into their respective comfort zones and they'll stop doing many of their obligations because you'll be there to do them. The problem you'll face in this case is not valuing yourself because if you don't, it's highly unlikely that someone will look you in the eyes and tell you to think more about yourself. At least don't expect this kind of empathetic act from those you help since they would stick to their personal Robin Hood and that would come at a high cost to their lives. Number three, you run a significant risk of being called weak and treated you are facing the risk of being called weak and treated as such. Stoic philosophy encourages us to develop inner strength and self-discipline. When we set specific boundaries and practice self-discipline, we can show others that we are committed to our own responsibilities and values. This earns respect instead of being seen as fragile and treated that way. When you are always ready to help others, you may believe that you are establishing yourself as an authority in the areas you collaborate in. However, this can create a negative image of you because when boundaries are not set, others may start to see you as weak or easily commanded. This is contrary to a leader. This can lead them to shift their responsibilities onto you, knowing that you are unlikely to refuse because you are always ready to help others. However, as soon as you start using the word no, others may begin to consider something they may not have considered before. That is respect. 
Setting boundaries and saying no, when necessary, demonstrates authenticity and commitment to your own priorities, thereby earning the respect of those around you. So, it is important that you show authenticity and say no when needed. Build balanced relationship for a more prosperous as life. Relationships are an important part of human life. They provide us with emotional support, connection, and a sense of belonging. However, it is important that these relationships are balanced and provide mutual benefits. Balanced relationships are those in which all parties contribute and receive support fairly and respectfully. When you are overly kind in a relationship, your partner may take advantage of your kindness. In balanced relationships, reciprocity is important. This means that everyone is willing to contribute and receive support fairly. It's not because you are a man that you have to give everything that women demand. Everything has its limits, and this applies to both genders. When you are too kind, everything can become an obligation. Number four, you run a significant risk of developing a dependency. Stoic philosophy emphasizes moderation and self-control. Practicing generosity combined with self-discipline helps us avoid falling into addictive patterns of behavior and maintain a healthy relationship with our actions and choices. When necessary desires become a part of daily life, the needs often continuously increase, creating ideal conditions for dependency on others. It's possible that one day, someone close to you will realize that you are consuming something excessively, whether it's alcohol, food, or even engaging in any form of gambling. It's important to seriously consider the things that people who care about you say. Sometimes the initial reaction may be to become angry and deny any issues. However, this is a common response for people who are too busy with their own problems to recognize them. Remember that those who love you always care about your well-being. So, it's important to listen to their observations because these concerns are meant to help you avoid pitfalls and progress towards the improvement you desire. Number five, your priorities will be trampled upon. Stoics always emphasize the importance of living rationally and ethically, and this is among the key Stoic virtues. Setting boundaries and prioritizing our responsibilities is crucial to maintaining balance and avoiding sacrificing our authenticity and well-being for others. When you dedicate all your time to the priorities of others, you risk and can experience inconvenience and exhaustion if you are on a journey to seek happiness and completeness. Consider the emotions that arise when you spend a weekend alone or come home every day to find no one waiting for you. If this isolation is a way to escape from yourself, the situation can become very tense. First and foremost, you will inevitably face yourself sooner or later, and this cannot be avoided. Secondly, your mood tends to deteriorate when you neglect your priorities to meet the needs of others, making you feel unimportant. The key is not that you should not help others, but that we should help by setting boundaries because if you cannot fulfill your responsibilities, how can you help others? Taking care of yourself is a fundamental factor in achieving completeness. Before offering comfort to others, it is important that you feel satisfied, whole and cared for. In other words, don't give chocolate to others before you enjoy it yourself and know that this is not selfish. Similarly, don't offer to help friends clean their houses before you organize your own home and enjoy a relaxing moment with a glass of wine and a good movie. Take care of yourself first and then extend that love to the world. Number six, maintain healthy boundaries to protect your well-being. Think of a fence surrounding your garden this fence ensures the protection of your most precious flowers, your green meadow, and the peaceful environment you've created. Similarly, establishing healthy boundaries in your personal life and career is like building a protective fence for your mental health, physical well-being, 
and the integrity of your spirit. These boundaries play a vital role in our lives, serving as a clear border between what can be accepted and what cannot. They are like personal boundaries that define where you end and others begin. Building healthy boundaries is a way to safeguard your mental health, physical well-being, and the integrity of your spirit. If you establish clear boundaries, you avoid feeling overwhelmed, exhausted, and susceptible to being taken advantage by others. As mentioned earlier in this video, one of the primary reasons to protect your time and energy is to protect your mission and your energy. Life is a journey that requires balance. When you don't establish boundaries, you face the risk of stretching yourself too thin. This can lead to an overwhelming schedule, a lack of time for self-care, and a breakdown of mental integrity. Number 7. Surrounded by many, but only supported by the opportunistic. Stoic philosophy teaches us to value wisdom and discernment when choosing who to assist. Through self-control and objectivity, we can distinguish between those who are sincere and those who seek to take advantage of us. Avoid expending energy on situations that can resolve themselves suddenly. People who once considered you a good friend may start excluding you from joyful moments and only approach you when they need something specific or a favor. If we think realistically, this is not surprising. Generally, people don't invite their co-workers or those who work for them to social gatherings, let alone share leisure and fun time. While this is reasonable, it doesn't mean it's fair in every situation. Therefore, it's important to learn how to avoid being exploited by others, and we will share some strategies soon. Ensure that you attract into your life only those who are seeking help, rarely those who are willing to contribute. Through Stoic philosophy, we can nurture sincere and mutually beneficial relationships, reaping greater benefits from this classical knowledge. Those who pass through our lives are often attracted to the energy we emit. In other words, when we radiate negativity, we ultimately attract negative people, pessimists, those who have lost faith in life, and those with little goodwill toward themselves and the world. Conversely, when our spirits are positive, we attract optimistic, generous, kind, enthusiastic, diligent and cheerful people. So, when we give without expecting a clear return over time, we expend too much energy, leading us to vibrate at a lower frequency. This leads us to attract those who need something, in some cases, opportunities. This is most common when those who later have no intention or resources to repay come only to drain your energy. Number 8 you could end up falling into addiction. The Stoic philosophers advocated moderation and self-control. Practicing self-discipline in generosity helps us avoid falling into patterns of addiction and maintains a healthy relationship with our actions and decisions. When scarcity becomes a part of our daily lives, the need for more increases, and this is the best situation to fall into addiction. So. One day, someone close to you may realize that you are drinking too much, eating too much, or even gambling too much. Pay attention to what the people who care about you can say, because your initial reaction may be anger and denial that you don't have any problem. But this is the most common reaction of those who have become deeply immersed in their issues to the point where they cannot realize that they have a problem. Always remember that those who care about you only want the best for you. So, take their observations seriously because they are there to help you stop falling and move forward. Number 9. You may arouse suspicion. Stoic philosophy encourages us to act virtuously regardless of whether others may misunderstand our actions or judge us. By living according to Stoic principles and values, we build an authentic reputation that can withstand unfounded doubt. While we may hope for the world to be different, 
The reality is that very few people genuinely possess a spirit of generosity. Therefore, if you are one of them, you may evoke suspicion rather than admiration and gratitude. However, this is not the most important concern. It won't take long for people to question your hidden intentions when you demonstrate generosity. They may wonder what's happening with you and whether there's any ulterior motive behind your actions. This doesn't mean that you've encountered a naturally suspicious group of people. They may actually be sincere. Most overly generous individuals tend to conceal ambiguous intentions. A precautionary measure is to often avoid engaging with them and decline the help they propose. Therefore, in everything you strive to accomplish in life, try to rely on yourself, regardless of how long it may take. Always observe who genuinely desires your betterment, because that person may open doors for your life. Don't expect to do something and receive something in return, just as you shouldn't help others with the expectation of receiving something in return. In daily life, we often face such problems and others may try to take advantage of us. This can happen in many aspects, from personal to work and social relationships. To protect yourself and maintain balance in your life, it is important to understand and apply appropriate strategies that benefit others. Next, we'll explore six basic strategies to help you protect yourself and maintain your autonomy in all matters. Join us to learn and apply this knowledge to become a confident and wise person in everyday life. Strategy number one, listen to your feelings. This first step is based on the stoic idea of self-awareness. Paying attention to your emotions and mood is crucial. Stoics value self-reflection as a way to understand your reactions and needs, which is vital for you. By listening to your emotions, you can determine if you are overcommitting and causing yourself mental stress. This will help you adjust your focus and find a healthier balance. Ask yourself how you feel when helping others. Taking care of yourself and prioritizing your own needs is as noble an act as helping others and it should make you feel good. So, if you feel too much pressure, exhaustion, anger or exploitation, it's a sign that it's time for you to pause and listen to your emotions. If something that you have no obligation to is causing such discomfort, it's important not to ignore these emotions. They are valuable signals of your mental well-being. Strategy number two, lose the fear of saying no. The word no is very important in your life because it sets boundaries and can help you escape from energy draining situations. When you say no to something, it reflects your values, showing that you are not a person who agrees with everything and everyone. When you agree to everything, the ultimate answer you will give is for stressful situations. This strategy follows the teachings of Stoicism and involves recognizing the value of your time and energy while consciously allocating them in a balanced way. Saying no in situations where you feel overwhelmed or when the requests are unfair is a way to practice self-control. Although it may be difficult for some people, the word no is often associated with negativity and pessimism. It's important to overcome the fear of using it in specific moments in your life. If we don't do so, negativity can manifest in our lives. When someone asks us for more than we can fulfill, it's important to practice saying no. It can even be helpful to practice in front of a mirror and convince yourself that it's the only way to regain freedom and avoid unnecessary risk. What we need to keep in mind is the specificity of each situation. These strategies can help create healthier balance in your relationships and protect your mindset. Do you often practice using the word no? If so, please share your thoughts or tell me a situation where saying no has benefited you in the comment section of this video. Strategy number three, there is a time and space for you. 
This strategy is based on the stoic principles of self-discipline and self-respect. Those are the core elements of your life. Setting aside time and space for self-care is extremely important. You really enjoy doing anything, be it playing sports, painting, listening to music, any hobbies, or anything that gets you excited. Try to complete your task as soon as possible so you can make time for these activities. This should be considered so important in your life that you must schedule this time daily and weekly. If you have a request for cooperation during this period, they may exercise important religion and be willing to cooperate for themselves, not just for you. So don't control without feeling guilty and enjoy this time and don't cheat as an exclusive way for yourself. If you don't want to be too rigid, you can offer to help at another time, but be sure that your availability will be limited. Because you have your own life, this will be a very important strategy in your life. Strategy number four, cultivate gratitude daily. Practicing gratitude in daily life is not only a good deed for the soul, but also has the ability to create a positive and motivating life. Taking time each day to reflect on the things you are grateful for can completely change your mindset and mood. It helps you focus on the positive aspects of life and generates a happier state of mind. A practical way to do this is by keeping a gratitude journal. In this journal, you can record your daily thoughts and emotions along with special events and moments you have experienced. This not only helps you remember valuable memories in life, but also makes you more self-aware of yourself and your dream goals. When you frequently jot down positive and grateful thoughts, your mind gradually eliminates negative thoughts and worries. It creates space for positive energy, making you more optimistic and ready to face life's challenges. You can perceive every situation from a more positive perspective and seek opportunities in every aspect of life. So don't hesitate to document the things you are grateful for every day and consider it an important part of your life strategy. This can positively change your life and help you maintain a positive mindset and motivation every day. Strategy number five, set goals in creating an action plan. Set clear goals and make plans to achieve clarity and guidance in your life. By identifying specific and achievable goals, you can set yourself up to take steps closer to achieving your life goals and objectives. Remember that normal progress happens in small steps, so enjoy fighting with yourself as you work towards your life goals. These additional strategies can complement the original four we have suggested, helping to improve your quality of life and spirituality in both the professional and personal realms. Strategy number six, identify energy vampires and distance yourself from them. This strategy follows the stoic principles of self-discipline and self-awareness. It's important to recognize relationships that benefit you and those that can drain your mental energy. Create distance from people who consistently drain your energy and don't contribute positively. For me, my peace of mind is more important than anything else because with it, I can accomplish everything I've planned. When we have guidance in life, we often follow it. However, when we lack daily peace, it can hinder or drag us down. If you try to help an energy drainer, understand that it may not succeed. These people often overwhelm you with complaints, grievances and negative views of life. They don't genuinely care about solving their problems because it would mean they have to stop complaining, something they're not willing to do. In summary, Stoic philosophy teaches us that balance is important in everything we do in life, including generosity. Giving too little can make us look selfish, while giving too much can deplete us of energy, time, and even finances. What's important to remember is that financial depletion is one of the most dangerous. So, choosing optimal options where we find a balance between prioritizing others and taking care of ourselves is often the best approach. And when in doubt, remember the magic word, no. 
I sincerely hope these suggestions have been helpful to you. Remember that you are an important part of this YouTube channel. If this video of ours has helped you, made you contemplate or taught you something entirely new, please leave a like so that more people can discover the teachings of Stoic philosophy. And if you haven't already, subscribe now and leave your comments. Thank you for watching this video of ours. See you in the next videos.